So I'm going to talk about some of the things that uh, people who are against same-sex marriage have been mentioning these past few weeks. I'm not going to talk about how uh, Adam and Eve is not Adam and Steve, so that's why gays shouldn't be allowed to be married, which, by the way, Adam and Eve weren't married. They, Eve was just created for Adam, and technically speaking, Eve is Adam's clone, because they were made from the same exact DNA and from the exact same chromosome. So technically, it wasn't Adam and Eve, it was Adam and a clone of Adam named Eve. Pretty much two brothers fucking each other and somehow producing just boys, which soon at the time became us. Who knew? Only boys created in all life forms. Well, all human life anyway. But anyway, enough about that shit. People are talking about how changing marriage for same-sex couples is a violation of the First Amendment because marriage is under God. And since marriage is under God, marriage is under uh, religious institutions and religion. And since uh, these church and, the church and state are separate and the federal government cannot intervene with this church, and since marriage is supposedly under God, which is somehow becomes uh, under religious institution, then they shouldn't change it. But well, here's the thing, number one, marriage is not under God, if God did exist. Why doesn't he say so himself? The Bible doesn't really talk about marriage much. The ancient Druids, the ancient Egyptians, the Native Americans, the ancient Greece, and many more cultures of the ancient times had legal marriages. Marriage is a legal contract between two people, two consenting loving adults who love each other, or at least supposedly love each other. It's between two consenting adults. That's it. That's all. It's a legal binding contract between one another. The ancients, like I mentioned, the Egyptians, the Druids, the Greeks, the Native Americans, etc., had same-sex marriages. Those weren't under God. Those were legal. Legal contracts in that culture, in that cultural context. If we don't know the definition of marriage, it's right here. But besides that, this is basically how they sound like, how the people who say that if you change the definition of marriage or whatever of marriage, so that same-sex couples can be married is a violation of the First Amendment. This is basically what they're saying. It's okay for two straight people to get married. It's all right. But when a gay couple tries to make it so that they can be married, and holy shit, it's a violation of the First Amendment rights. One could also make the argument that uh, interracial marriage shouldn't exist because marriage shouldn't be touched by the federal government because it would be a violation of the church and say of the First Amendment. Since marriage is under God, and God is part of the institution, of the religious institution and of religion in general, and the separation of church and state are supposed to stay separate, which is why blacks can't marry whites, because if you alter the definition, you're allowing church and state to become intertwined with each other, which is not allowed. To those of you who say Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve, or who say that it would violate the First Amendment or whatever, just look at how you are acting right now between this whole entire issue and look at what you're going to see yourselves in in 40 years. Just picture it. You look just as stupid as the people who said no to interracial marriages.